Welcome back to Star Trek Online, everybody. I'm your host, the House Code Gamer, and today we're taking a look at the pilot escorts, at least the Starfleet ones. Of out of all of these, the tactical pilot one is probably the most sought after, because the original USS Mercury is under the command of Tom Paris, as seen during the Iconian War arc. It's also the most balanced of the variants. And balance is best. <laughs> Sorry about that. Aerodynamics are not required in space. So why does the Icarus look a little fighter pilot-ish? Well, in this case, the Icarus creates a... as a spatial sinkhole generator. Hi, whoop. You're gonna have difficulties moving, which means I have an easier time of killing you. These ships kind of supplanted the Kamari as the top DPS boat for a long time. At least until the T6 Kamari came out. The engineering version creates subspace eddies. Oh look, now you can't move in a in conjunction to being tethered. Prepare to die. The Mercury is the simplest. It just fires rockets. Countless little VLS tubes launch <laughs> launching torpedoes at a target. Yeah, there's nothing other than, hi, they exist. There's no lore. And all of these ships need a reskin. I mean... They don't exactly look top quality anymore. Which is disappointing, to say the least. I bet they would be a lot more attractive if they didn't look like well, second tier models, at least in STO. Which is kind of why I do abridged reviews for these. There's nothing to talk about. Just they exist, and maybe you should get them. These, especially, you should get. They're DPS murder machines. And pilot abilities make you invincible for a moment. Housecoat Gaming, signing off.